The Golden Hour Birth Podcast, a podcast about real birth stories and creating connections through our shared experiences. Childbirth isn't just about the child. It's about the person who gave birth, their lives, their wisdom, and their empowerment. We're Liz and Natalie, the Golden Hour Birth Podcast, and we're here to laugh with you, cry with you, and hold space for you. Welcome to the Golden Hour Birth Podcast. I am your co-host, Liz. And I'm your co-host, Natalie. And tonight we have, I don't even know how to like start it. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> Samuel on. He is my husband, my baby daddy, <laughs> my love. <laughs> so I'm so excited that you're on tonight, Sam. Yeah, I've been waiting for this for a while. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> um, so I guess we can just start a little bit with... Um, I mean, I feel like people already know you from me talking about you so much, but start a little bit with your perspective on Wesley and Violet's birth. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so where where should I begin? Like the 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 pregnancy itself or the birth? I mean, however you want to. <laughs> yeah, it's it's wild. Um you know, I mean, it seems like it's it was so long ago. Yeah. I mean, it was almost two years ago, but it honestly feels like it was half a year ago. Um, it was, I think it was like so, like very super special the first time around. Mm -hmm. Right? It was new to us. Um, it was everything was exciting. Like every every moment of the pregnancy like you okay you're one month you're two months along three months along and just everything every milestone seems so exciting and cool um and i'm just like gonna bounce back and forth between um you know pregnancies and it just seems so different yeah right this time around with violet um in every which way um and I think the first one was just magical, right? And I, in I don't know. And like we talk about this, like it was in looking in hindsight, was it really that magical the first time, or was it really terrible? <laughs> and we're just choosing to remember it as being like awesome, yeah, right? I say that all the time. <laughs> but I think like with Wesley's birth, it was like we planned this, like we wanted it. Yeah. Violet's was a little early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoops, surprise. <laughs> you know, like, we're not, not trying. And then, like, the next month. So. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, in the way that you surprise me. <laughs> well, yeah. So, I mean, let's go back to, like, right. Painting uh, out for the first time with Wesley. That was so magical, mm -hmm. right? Like, we were expecting it you took the pregnancy test and oh my god I'm, I'm blinking what happened like you came into the room i yeah i took the pregnancy test it was like monday morning like 6 a.m because i had to get off for work i came into the room <laughs> and i was like sam i think i took a pregnancy test and i think it's positive yeah. <laughs> and you were like what yeah, that's right. I like. So I woke you up both times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you did, you did, right? So we'll compare these. Right, the first time I was like, "What?" I like jumped out of bed and I like ran to the bathroom when she was like, oh, no, doing like your ugly, like beautiful laugh cry, cry. Laugh cry. And I'm like, "Oh my god!" And I had tears in my eyes. It was like a very special moment. And like, we use that as like the standard for everything, all the milestones now, and like. It's impossible to not compare with Violet, um, right? And when we did find out with Violet, <laughs> I think we're both so set on trying to replicate the, the rawness, the beautifulness of Wesley's birth experience. They were like, oh, we have to try to like replicate this. Mm -hmm. And of course, randomly, didn't even know, right? Like you were going to take a pregnancy test. <laughs> I knew it was Wesley, right? I cool. You got it. We're like test. But this time you just can take it, and you come in. You barge in with the. You're excited. You're like Sam. <laughs> Wesley's gonna be a big brother, and it was just like this. 
jaw open, stunned. <laughs> and from like that moment on, it was 180 degrees different from Wesley. Uh-huh. Right. And I think, I don't think it was, I think there was, there was, it, it, it created conflict between you and I because you felt like, like you had to be as excited as Wesley. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 It's not like I didn't, wasn't excited for her or didn't want another child. Yeah. We had talked about it, but we were really like, oh, yeah, let's try in It was like July or? Yeah, like three months later. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like three months ahead of schedule. Yeah. Had the wedding. But I also think <laughs> it was because, yeah, we were in like such a sweet spot with Wes. Like he just turned a year old. Yeah. yeah. I feel like him and Sam were like really creating something very special because of like the postpartum, which we'll get into with Wes. But like, you know, him and him and Sam were like really just vibing. Yeah. yeah. And Sam sure. was like loving this stage. And yeah. I think I was just like threw a red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you were just like shocked. You were like disappointed or you know well, i think there was i think there was a level of disappointment there yeah. um because i i thought you know you had a good thing going part, well yeah, yeah with that but not just <clears throat> well yeah it was definitely with like oh my god things were just going great with wesley you know watching him blossom and it was just it was it was awesome this relationship it was like the three of us and um, <laughs> I Chris, that's another story. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I think there was a level of disappointment with. I know we talked through this, right? But it's yeah. like I wanted to do it together, right? I felt like there was just kind of mm-hmm. this. I felt like alone and shocked, and then I felt shameful because I couldn't show up the way that I thought you wanted me to show up. So, yeah, it was a clusterfuck. Yeah. I mean, everything across the board, it was just completely different. Um, you know, flash forwarding to now, right? I think things are settling down a little bit, right? A so, little bit. <laughs> a little bit, right? Um, I mean, what, what I say that, and she was just like screaming, I'll take you to the bottom. Um, but she's smiling. Yeah, it makes everything so yeah. much better. She's like, just like <laughs> smiling at me. I'm like, you're a human. <laughs> I can connect with you. Okay. Yeah. Like, you're not screaming every time I hold you. And yeah. she looks just like Yeah, I think she does, actually. Yeah. The eyes. Well, I think she looks just like him. Yeah. Um. So, like anything else you feel like you want to add from like the pregnancy part with Wes? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah that's or... right. I've been kind of all over the board here. Um, the pregnancy <laughs> okay. part, right? Like I just remember being super excited and curious, right? Um, and just kind of like learning from you. I'm just going to be a sponge and take everything <laughs> in. Mm-hmm. Right. I remember the first time we watched that video, it was a video of like births and the business. The business of it is. Yes, 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 yes. Love you, Ricky Lake. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And I remember being like, holy fuck, what is that? <laughs> Seeing a baby, like a baby coming out of the canal and just like, <laughs> Holy shit, what is what's all that white shit on there? <laughs> the verdict. Yeah. I'm like, that that doesn't look like a baby. I had never <laughs> seen that before. Ever. Yeah. It was wild. But like that really did help me yeah. be prepared for what I saw <laughs> in real life. Yeah. yeah. Remember how many times we had to be or I had to be like, you cannot get queasy. In the delivery room, you are yeah. not allowed to pass out. <laughs> yeah. and you're like, I need to help myself. And I'm like, you're not allowed yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to watch 8 million births. <laughs> no, that was so cool because, like, you were. Damn. Damn. Like, what sucks? Like, you're going to get mad at me if I'm, like, queasy? And then, like, let's go to that the day. Like, you're 
in birth and I'm just right there along with you, <laughs> right? And like, you're almost at 10 centimeters and I'm like down in there, like, you <laughs> know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> The OB was like, go ahead, touch, touch the head. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm like, I never, ever would have thought I would ever have been there. I, there's blood and all sorts of things there. <laughs> I, it was good. I was proud of myself. Yeah, it was cool. How was it when I was on medicated and I was in the birthing center? How did you feel during that? Wait, I need to reverse a little bit. How did you feel when like labor started? Like. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. That's that day. That yeah. was awesome. <laughs> right? Two years ago. Yeah. 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 I think I recorded Wesley's yeah. birth story a year ago, though. So that's why. Oh, whoa. Just like to the day. Oh, my gosh. I recorded on his first birthday that whoa. night. Yeah. So, yeah. but now a year later, yeah. we have Sam <laughs> here telling his <laughs> point of view. Yeah, Next year, we'll have Leslie. this <laughs> 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 point of view. <laughs> So the, the 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 day of the birth, you're saying? Like, yeah, like when, when labor, labor actually started. Oh, man. You like, oh, it was shit. fun. So let me think. Um, if I remember correctly, you woke up at like three in the morning having contractions, right? Mm -hmm. It was like, yeah, one contraction. Yeah, it was one contraction. And then you, this is so you, you were like... <laughs> We woke up in the morning. And you're like, all right, well, I'm going to go in and work. I'm like, what the fuck? No, you're not going. Going to the yard. You are having contractions. You're having a baby today. You're not going into work. What else to do? Yeah. Having yeah. them at 8 a.m. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, yeah, that's great to be empowered and, you know, and, and not feel the pain. But you're going to work? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> so I remember it was like early morning, probably like nine. I had like I was doing virtual therapy from, from home and <clears throat> I was in the office. I went in from like a nine and a, well, no, it was just one. So it was like you, 10 o'clock. You went in at 12. Oh, it was 12. We took like a walk at 11 You and you um, had an appointment at 12. And we took a walk. Mm -hmm. I don't know the pieces that come there. You go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we took the walk, came back, and I had the session mm -hmm. at noon. Um, and I think I was like with the the client, like, yeah. So you know, it's just kind of like a waiting period. You know, we're expecting baby anytime soon, and we don't really know. So yeah, and you know, if for whatever reason we go into labor, right? So you'll get an email, a call from our admin team. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay. See ya. And exit out of Zoom, and I walk out, and I was like, "Pack your bags, on in labor." I, like, I legitimately was like, "Oh yeah, listen, let's, let's go." I'm excited, and yeah, I mean, I think I had a, how many tricks we had too, tricks. like the high blood pressure that I started having. So I was like, oh, yeah. "Am I gonna get induced? Am I not?" So I forgot about. I thought like we were kind of just ready at this point. Like, let's just do it. Yeah. 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 yeah that was, yeah, that's wild. I forgot about all of those. Yeah. Leading up to it, uh, we went to one of your last, um, appointments at the birthing center and they're like, yeah, we might have to induce you. Yeah. And that was like, the next day was like, I was having a diaper party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I was texting Tom, <laughs> but like, hey, you might, uh, you might just have to have the diaper party without me. <laughs> <laughs> Drop off the diapers in my house <laughs> after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys just bring the diaper and drink. We have a fun. We can't let go of those diapers. You know, we got a ton of beer and food. Just help yourself. And fine. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. But yeah, no. So I left the, um, left the session uh, with the client and she comes out and she's like, get back, babe, we're going. I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm like, we're going right now? She's like, no. Um, I'm just going to, you know, labor here for a while. We're so many Mexican with Jason and Liz. Yeah, no, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, this is sweet. <laughs> yeah. So we go to La Catrina, we meet up with Jason and Liz and... <laughs> <laughs> but you just swing over. It's like, you know, and Vivian. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Vivian or, or Carson. Yeah. She was like, a, yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's oh between God, Jason yeah. and I yeah. in her car seat on the ground. 
And it was like blazing hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it was still mm-hmm. April, but it was like 80, 85 degrees and hazy and just humid. Oh my God. We're having a couple cocktails. I had a couple of Dos Equis and did you? I did, yeah. Because yeah. I'm like celebrating. Like, this is awesome. <laughs> Definitely gonna have a couple of beers go and then go into the hospital. <laughs> because stay on night for 24 hours. <laughs> so we at least one more hour. Yeah. Yeah, that that didn't last very long. The the, the lunch. It was like uh, probably under an hour because Yeah. We literally ate and left. <laughs> yeah. 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 We were like, We got the bell, you guys just go. Natalie's standing up at the table. <laughs> <laughs> working through a contraction and re- the server comes over is like man man are you okay do you need an ambulance, do you need a- should we call an ambulance and the manager came over and the way no 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 and she's like got done with the contraction just bit into like the rest of her talk <laughs> i just like want to let every all of our listeners stop over to the studio that scam was up and doing that <laughs> it was up at that table <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i mean uh, it was awesome it was, it was incredible and i remember like leaving mexican restaurant and that you know what actually liz uh, i have to confess something we actually didn't go into labor then we just wanted you to do it jason pick up the bill <laughs> so we just, we just well, left <laughs> some new event i'll request <laughs> <laughs> uh, no so we left there and we we're going to um we were just going back home. I remember calling my mom, called your dad, and they were like, "Okay, this is awesome, right? Cool, cool." So we just went home and labored for a little bit. I say we. I didn't labor. You labored, <laughs> right? You supported. Um, yeah, no, it was cool. Um, and I'm like, by the time we got home, shit was real. Yeah. Like you were putting on the what is it? To, yeah, I have no birthing. You have no birthing. Yeah. You were laboring on the yoga ball and just like breathing and like was stuck. I mean, I'm, I'm like kind of like reliving it right now as I tell it. I'm like, oh my God, like I have to be here for you. This is like amazing. You are burly or child. <laughs> like this. <laughs> so this is terrible. But the only thing I've ever seen close to it <laughs> was like an animal giving birth. <laughs> and this is no comparison whatsoever, but like, you know, we our family had a farm and we had cows on there. And we saw a lot of plenty of like cows being birthed. <laughs> yes. I didn't know well, that. I didn't it know was that. cool. <laughs> it was really cool. They yeah. just like lost right? Yeah, it was just like, really did. <laughs> it was like this cow would fall down and like calf would just like get up and walk away. But I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh my God, this is like live. This is a real birth. This is my wife is in labor. And oh my God, our child's going to be here, you know, um, within hours, 12 hours. There you go. I, um, I didn't know how long we were going to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know either. Nobody does. I know. But it really wasn't that bad. No, I've heard of, we've heard of, yeah, very long labor. Yeah. Um, how did it feel like, well, you were still early at that point, so she wasn't like in so much pain, but like, how does it feel when you can't do anything? Like, for the person you love is in pain. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Especially being a uh, recovering codependent I, that's extremely hard for me. all my life i'm given i've abandoned myself for other people right and put their needs first and foremost i mean that's something i think through my own therapy i've like really um improved on is it 100 percent? no it's where, was, where I wanted to be, no, happy with it. But yeah, I mean, like, literally, I, I would feel her pain. I mean, it sucked. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, that it, it was bad. Um, but I now, like, I mean, I'm, I'm glad we had 
the talks leading up to it about, yeah, I always remember you saying like, hey, no matter what, <laughs> don't, no matter how much pain I'm in, how much I beg, <laughs> don't let me go upstairs and get enough. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I was conscious of that, right? Yeah. And, you know, you being you, labored for five hours with no medication. This is a, a girl who didn't want to wear batting gloves in <laughs> softball <laughs> when she was playing club softball <laughs> because she didn't want people to think she had money. I don't know. What? I Yeah, it yeah. was just something I had. But he always tells me. <laughs> Why no? But I mean, just, I'm just saying, like, that's just something to your character, like, your meat and potatoes and my... Right, like <laughs> I don't need no medicine. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I mean, no one just like epidurals all the way. Yeah. <laughs> but I admired that, right? And it was awesome. It was, um, yeah. No, I mean, it, it was cool. I, I, so, whoa, it was hard. Mm -hmm. Shit, it sucked. Yeah. I can't even believe you made it that long. Like, back labor, like, yeah. Yeah, once we got to the hospital, things definitely, like, quickly changed. Yeah, so we arrived probably around, I would say, 3. It was, like, 3.40-ish. Cool. Yeah. Now he knows the exact I was, like, really being, like, conscious of, like, I don't, I just wanted to, like, be conscious of where everything was and stuff. Yeah. You remember. You're, like, a members person. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Tell me your birthday, I'll remember it. Yeah. It's scary. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So three forty, we showed up, <laughs> and you were three centimeters. Four. <laughs> <laughs> three with violet. Yeah. Nah, I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> <laughs> so we show up at the birthing center. You're four centimeters, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, okay well, she's doing pretty good. You know, she's just kind of breathing deeply, and it's, it's going all right. And I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, and then we like transferred to the room. Um, what do you call it? Like birthing room? The birthing room. Yeah. Yeah. Birthing room. And that's when things were like wild. Yeah. That's where, you know, like your threshold of pain, right? On a scale of 110, it was, you, from my perspective, it was like you're at a 12 or 20. That's what right? it was like. like. Looking at you, I've never seen somebody be in so much pain. And that, like, I, th I really do feel like I held on to it. Right? It was hard. Yeah. It's not to like, put that on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was cool. I mean, we did the in the hot tub, right? Um. The hot tub, the jacuzzi. You know, jacuzzi. Yeah, yeah, hot tub jacuzzi to like suit yeah. you. And that didn't, you didn't like that. So we were like in the shower. I was trying to like put the, the nozzle down your back to be like soothing. Hot water, that didn't work. You were on all fours on the bed and you were just like writhing in pain. And I'm like looking at the midwife and our doula. And they both kept like signaling to me. They're like, Upstairs, upstairs. I'm like, hold on, just give her, let her go, let her go. <clears throat> That's two hours in. You labor, labored for like another three hours, like, uh, right? I'm not. And then they kept her asking. Head. They're like, yeah, yeah. I mean, by like, w what was it? So it was like you were when we went up. How many centimeters were you? Okay. Well, we got to six yeah. downstairs. Yeah. So and we got two centimeters further in mm -hmm. like five hours. Yeah. yeah. We arrived yeah. at four and five hours later, you only at six. Yeah. And I, you know, they measured you and I like took the midwife and our doula. It was like, they were asking me like, should we do it? Should we do it? I'm like, um, really? I mean, honestly, measure her. She's not past six or something like that we're going upstairs i'm just going to make an executive decision 
And sure enough, you were at like a, a six. I'm like, babe, we're going upstairs. Yeah. Let's throw in the towel. You did a fucking great job. You did tell me that in my ear a few times. That was nice to hear. <laughs> I told you you're doing a great fucking job. Yeah. <laughs> You did. Well, you did. I mean, and here's the thing. People use the phrase, like, oh, you're a pussy. Do you know what our pussies go through? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, don't be a pussy. Oh, listen, you young feller. Have you seen what a pussy does? Have you, you, have you seen it? You haven't? Oh, yeah. Well, maybe you should see a live bird. <laughs> I'm dying right now. <laughs> Well, I'm happy the word. Yeah. Oh my god! I've been the sad. I was like, I've like <laughs> been like that word in years. I went to the same thing. I'm like, I mean, reflected oh out that douchebag. He's like, oh, don't be a pussy. Like, well, fuck. Yeah, it's like a ball sack. That's like the weakest <laughs> point ever. Wait, what? On a man. The- when you say like man, oh. that's <laughs> Gross and balls. It's like, yeah. what? It's so freaking like, her? They get flexed and they're like, <laughs> okay, all right. I'm not trying to compare it here, but that hurts <laughs> just as bad. Not as childbirth. <laughs> same. But anywho, um, wait, how did this go from being an advocate to being attacked? No, I'm not saying not that. Not attacking you. <laughs> it's just a funny comparison when. A pussy is like equated to like yeah, um, weak, and then like gross and balls is like strong, but like balls are not strong. Oh, you're right. Okay, yeah, that's what you mean. Like, oh god, they're so sensitive. Yeah, no, they're super sensitive. Yeah, no, uh, we're the ones. <laughs> Could I have done what you did, Natalie, for five hours? No. Could I have done what you did for the first round of contraction? No. <laughs> no. Could I have stood next to the table and eat the rest of my talk <laughs> while going through contractions? Absolutely not. <laughs> so, cheers to you. Thanks, Bill. Just be Anyway, I... Um, Kind of Things were this. juicy from there after the epidural came. Oh, yeah. So we yeah, went upstairs, epidural. I remember they brought in food and they're like, want a ham and cheese sandwich? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and I like pull this out of like the refrigerator with like this hockey puck of like Oscar <laughs> Mayer ham and cheese. Yeah, turkey. Like, uh, it was turkey. 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 Yeah, the turkey sandwich. Oh, there's no other army. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> they had like the can of Sprite. Yeah. I remember I, we probably slept for two hours, maybe. Yeah. And here's the thing. Again, Natalie, she's just getting hired on her new job. She's in labor. Just got the epidural. What is she doing? She's emailing the CEO. <laughs> Okay, um, I think I'm going to be uh, out for a little while. I'm actually in labor, so we're going to have to push my start day back. Who are you? Just, they just going to make sure they knew. <laughs> well, even, even one of the numbers was like, why are you responding? Why, or like, why are you writing this email? Yeah. Now you're, yeah. Yeah. So, um, after that, I, th- I feel like Things went pretty quickly. Right? Yeah. I mean, we had like, we rested. Well, I slept for two hours. Yeah. We woke we up. Rested. Um, things kind of like progressed quickly. Yeah. Um, it was, what was it? Like three o'clock. Like, you know, the nurses were coming in. Three a.m. That's what I have to tell. Oh, yeah. Three a.m. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's, it's important. <laughs> I remember like going to use the restroom, coming off hold from never ever forget this. <laughs> and I hear like this like this water balloon like hit the floor <laughs> and like saw it like yes. just, what was that? And I like look up at Natalie and I look up at the nurse and they're dueling I'm like and there was someone's like your water is broken. <laughs> and we're all like, yeah. 
<laughs> Can we high five? Yeah, that's cool. That's a, yeah, yeah. Like, all right, things are getting real. <laughs> By that time, you know, Emma was there. Uh, uh, my best friend's wives. Um, so awesome. So fortunate to have her there. Yeah. Um, she's a nurse. Mercy. They am not supposed to say mercy. So we say mercy. Yeah, we've all said it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they can sponsor us or something. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Everything center. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So anyway, she it was awesome that she was part of that. Um, so special. Um, so, yep, your water broke. We go in and really like 30 minutes later, Wesley was born. I want to go back to like when we left the house. We're driving up to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And you were in the back seat of our Hyundai Tucson. <laughs> on all fours. We actually sing backwards. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got that idea from Liz. <laughs> But I don't think that will last. Uh, it's pretty much already, yeah, it went out there. Yeah. I was, okay. it was weird. I was in rough. Trying yeah, to be yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we had gone up there. We had three ideas for names. Or two. Three. Wesley, Owen, and Callahan. Yeah. And then. Callahan. What? Yeah. Like, I would I'm, never. I never heard that. Yeah. I would never. Guys. Name it's okay. No offense to any Callahans out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a lovely cow. So we were like going there and we were like making your from a Coslin onto 40 because you love Lumineers so much. I put on the Lumineers and I remember thinking like, I remember like getting on the entrance ramp to 40. I'm like, the late senior's name of Lumineers is Wesley, right? I'm like, yeah. I go, huh. <laughs> okay. And we just listen all the way down there. And sure enough, when he was born, we didn't say anything. <laughs> and you were just like holding him, and I know where you're just like, he's Wesley. <laughs> and that like laughing, crying thing Big you idea. do. <laughs> it's beautiful. All of a sudden, <laughs> yeah. And like immediately, but that moment's important because compare that to Violet, right? That one was so special. We didn't know what we were going to choose. You said we just had to choose or like see. He was born. Yeah. And I it was a glimpse of him and I said Wesley. And now he is literally a Wesley. Oh, yeah. He's a Wesley. Oh, yeah. He's such a Wesley. Yeah. Was, oh, crap. Yeah, he is. Yeah. That was such an amazing moment. I remember like we FaceTimed my mom. It's Wesley. So cool. So cool. And if we like compare that to Violet's, well, maybe I shouldn't just jump in across. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. I mean, like, so when that happened, when, when Violet was here, it was like we had to live up to, again, the standard. What was set with the first experience? Right. And we, I don't know why we, we we left home for the couple of days leading up to the birth. We were like, Violet, Violet's her name. Yeah, agreed. Well, let's do it. You know, so happy. We're telling the nurses when we got there. They're like, oh, bye. We have a friend named Violet. They were like super excited and cool. And she was, Violet's born. And for whatever reason, I had to go and fuck it up. I said, <laughs> I don't think she's a violet. I think she's a Joseph. I feel like I even <laughs> said that too. I was like, I don't know if I see it. Yeah. But now I'm like, she's violet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But now she is violet, right? Like, yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of shame. I think I still feel of like, which I shouldn't, right? Like, it's she was Josephine for the first six weeks of her life. We decided, nah, they didn't stick. Everyone's calling her something else. People are calling her fucking Josie, Joe, Jojo. Josephine, nobody yeah, could ever decide. There's like 10 nicknames for her. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, it's actually not really sticking well. I don't know what to call her. She doesn't look like a Josephine. So then we made the choice to like, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, and changing a name is not that easy. Oh. And it costs one hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Like, at least in the city of Saint Louis. That's so dumb. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. yeah, that sucks. But she's definitely a violet. Yeah, it's deep in her soul. Yeah, yeah. It is, for sure. You know, yeah, and I think this is kind of like going into the ADHD. You know, part of being a dad. Yes, I have ADHD, right? I was diagnosed three years ago as adult. I was 30. Well, yes, it was right before our wedding. Yeah, I was like so four it was years. 32? Yeah, 32. Yeah. It was shocking. Oh, God. What? You had With, no like, idea? You wouldn't know. I mean, like, I always suspected it. And every, like, I was always, like, really, like, my buddies were always, like, yeah, <laughs> you, you got ADHD. Like the joke. Like, yeah. oh, you're yeah. so ADHD. Yeah, yeah. you're so ADHD. Yeah. Yeah. But now, like, in hearing it and being diagnosed with it, oh, um, it's heavy. Our generation was skipped. Yours with was? With diagnosis. Like, our generation. It was just like, oh, yeah. yeah. It was like our young, the young, the next generation. They were like, ADHD was everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, It was yeah, just yeah. like, it was like the whole fam- adult <laughs> generation is now like, oh, shit. It is, yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, it's wild. Uh, I mean, it, it, it was... Well, well, speaking of that, like why I brought the issue thing, it was like, there's a lot of shame around like the name change because of like the impulsivity, but it's not just my decision, it's our decision. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and I looked this up. It was like 30% of parents have namers remorse. Oh yeah. And I think this was on like, what's the app that we use? Um, what to expect. What to expect. Uh, yeah. I think, I, or maybe not. Maybe it wasn't. I remember seeing this. It was like 3%. <laughs> parents have namers remorse right they're oh, like wow. dang it we should have called her, <laughs> her or him something else and then don't change and then yeah, yeah. what's the percentage of people who people have who yeah. Yeah, I don't know. would that be 70 i'm not really good no i don't know it's 30 percent well then 70 percent would be happy with what they yeah <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, good. good. Thank you. We can end it that yeah. way. <laughs> um where was I? Oh yeah, yeah. So just like the impulsivity of changing your name. Um a little shame. But I'm I'm working through it. It's like I kind of rationalize it in my mind of like, okay, so really the only thing that I have shame about is what other people will think. And is that enough to keep me from like changing the name of like well, mm-hmm. how we feel connected to our child? Yeah. Yeah. Just, no. No. Doing what you feel is right in your gut. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> we're both super happy. Yeah. Yeah. Better than when she was like 10 or something. And you're like, you kind of your Josephine. We have an identity crisis big time now. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just make up through a small one now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they can really, you know, when she's older, we can just tell her, kids, we can give her the nickname Joe. Yeah. Joe's the name. How's my, how's my name Joe? Well, <laughs> mommy and daddy called you Joe's, or your dad called you Josephine when you were born. <laughs> so, um, it's a cute story. It guess. will be a cute story once. It will be. I mean, it is now. Yeah. You guys may not see it, but. Yeah. Yeah, it sure It's a cute story. <laughs> um, so, if you want to touch a little bit on what the meet, like, going back now, two years ago, what happened immediately after Wes and Fur when we got home? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I mean, it's, I guess, the reason why it's taken me so long to come all around here is because of the shit around that. Oh, no, what happened? It's like... I never mentioned this in my birth story, so wait, probably yeah. nobody knows. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of the Golden Hour Birth Podcast. Join us next week for part two of Sam's story, where he talks about his postpartum experience with Wesley, and the unexpected death of his father. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with a friend and give us a five-star review. See you next episode.